Hi, Phil. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and thanks so much for linking in. Would love to talk with you about you using our voter engagement site uh, for polling purposes. Um, and I'll give you a quick demo. This is how it works. A voter can sign up for free with just an email address or social media account and without entering any personal information, just a zip code. We can create for them their own online interactive sample ballot for upcoming elections. So you can see this one right here. We did this one for the national student parent mock election, which was about 5 million teachers and students um, nationwide. And it went, you know, perfectly well. And uh, we had lots of great feedback from teachers and lots of students about things. And we've kind of redone it a little bit. And now we're releasing it to the uh, general public and for general use. So as a voter, I can sign up for free with just an email address or a social media account. Um, and without entering any personal information, just a zip code, I get my own online interactive sample ballot. Uh, so for this demo right here, uh, my zip code is 94116, and, I'm a, uh, and I've selected the Republican Party to get Republican uh, primaries. So under my ballot, I would see you know, here uh, the California. So in California's situation with the top two, uh, both parties would see that. Um, so you could be, you know, any party up here and you would see the California primary. So as a voter, I can click on that. And then I can see all the candidates that are running uh, for governor. And I can scroll down and see the candidates running for uh, lieutenant governor. You know, I can click on uh, any one of these candidates and I can learn a little bit more about them. Hello, I'm Eleni Kunalakis. And today I'm proud to tell you that I'm kicking off my campaign for California Lieutenant Governor. In the months ahead, I look forward to introducing myself to you and your... Um, and I can also see here uh, groups and organizations and individuals that, ha that have endorsed this candidate. Uh, and if I decide, hey, you know, I like this candidate, I simply favorite this candidate. And then when I go back to my ballot, uh, you can see here that her nameplate's turned green, which will make it really easy for me to access on my cell phone or my tablet. Uh, but I can also see the percentage of favorites that she has on this ballot. Um, so what I have in mind from a polling tool uh, would be that you guys can uh, send out 5,000, 10,000 uh, invites. I can customize the ballot so that it's your poll or whatever we need to do on that. Uh, and then we can almost use it sort of as a... Um, like a Nielsen rating almost, right? Where you can, uh, you know, they can take the poll, but then they obviously stay here and they can keep this ballot. Uh, and then maybe a month later, you know, send out a reminder if they, if new candidates have jumped into the race. So let's say if a new candidate jumps into the race, you know, I can unfavorite this candidate and I can, you know, go over and let's say, uh, you know, Kevin here uh, is, is new, but I like him from wherever I can favorite him and he's now you know, my guy. Uh, we can also set it up where they can favor uh, more than one candidate so you can get top three. And then obviously uh, we have all of the numbers in the background there, uh, not just the percentages. Uh, so for example, when someone signs up, they can go down here and they can select, you know, decade they were born, male or female, uh, and then their party um, here. And there's actually, I think, I think there's actually another, yeah, when you sign up the first time, there's actually another bubble that pops up that talks about a couple of other things if they want to add income or that type of stuff. So um, you can really get you know, a real good picture. Um, the other nice thing about this is that it can be done you know, uh, on your own time. Uh, so this happens to be you know, the last presidential um, election, um, but it can be done on your own time so that I can uh, you don't have to catch me at dinner on a phone call, you know, like most polls do. Um, that It can be sent out. I can, you know, look at it any time during the week. And then when I do, it's a tool that I value, that I will keep, and then I can, uh, you know, keep looking through. So we also do prep uh, propositions and measures. Uh, we don't have any on the 2018 yet because nothing's certified. Uh, but this will give you an example of how that works. Um, on uh, the ballot. And if I wanted to learn more about this proposition, I would click here. I could read about it. This is a little one minute neutral video that we'll be doing on California again. Um, and then these are groups and organizations that are supporting it and groups and organizations that are opposing it. Uh, so if I wanted to dig a little bit deeper, I could click here and I could hear what he has to say.
When does temporary mean temporary? Well, it doesn't here in California when it comes to money and taxes. We example, we are the only state in the union that has a three-tier education system, a state board of education. Okay, and then with that, um, let's say I can change my mind here. Um, so these all start as undecided. The last demo I had done, yes. But let's say I hear this now and I change my mind. Ethan Behrman makes a great argument. And now I'm going to say no on that. And when I go back to my ballot, you can see here that, you know, my answer is no. So I'm actually using this, you know, ballot. Uh, and then also here you can see the percentages. So there's like 13 percent. Um, have said yes, 7% are saying no, you know, and there's still 80% that are undecided, uh, which again is really valuable information to all the groups and organizations on, you know, either side uh, of that proposition. Uh, so again, would love to talk with you about it. Um, and, uh, you know, just reach out at 415-867-9554 uh, uh, or feel free just to uh, reply to the email. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.